Right click on your video and select new fusion clip. Then highlight that clip and go to the fusion page. Highlight the media in and press Control space to open the tools and type vector distortion. Then set your marker in the beginning of the timeline, highlight this vector distortion and go to the inspector. Bring the scale all the way to zero and then click the diamond next to it to create the first keyframe. Then move further in the timeline and then create the second keyframe by pressing the diamond next to scale. Now move further in the timeline again and increase the values of scale of your liking. I'm increasing my by a tiny bit because I don't want to make a big mess. Then go further in the timeline, then select the diamond to create a new keyframe. This is the point where the effect is gonna start disappearing. Then go further in the timeline and then you can bring the values of scale back to zero. Go to effects library, open effects and look for a glow. Drag it and drop it over your video footage. Then open the inspector, select the effects. I'm suggesting to increase HV ratio almost to the end, as well as the spread. Then you can go down on color and compose and increase the gain by a tiny bit. Also further down you can adjust the gamma, the saturation and pick a color for the lighting. In my case I'm picking some bluish color and pretty much the rest of the settings is of your liking. Highlight your video footage and go to the color tab. Select this window icon right here and then pick the circle. Then over the screen you can drag and resize the circle on the desired place. Also make sure that your timeline head is in the beginning. Reposition the circle if needed and then select this target icon which is the tracker right here. When you do that I'm suggesting you deselect the 3D because on default it should be selected and then hit play to track the window. After a few seconds the tracking should be done. It is not as good if you would do it by hand, but it's really a time saver. On the top right go to effects and you can pick any blur, I'm suggesting Gaussian blur and drag it and drop it over your node. And everything in that window that you have just created should be blurry, like this one. Also if the blur is not enough you can go back in the color tab and increase the strength of the blurness. I'm in the edit tab and on the top of my timeline is my background and the other four following footages that I'm having I'm gonna make them fit into the first one by doing a collage. So I'm moving all of them under each other like you see me doing right now and leaving on the top just the background which is this galaxy looking footage. When you set them up you can go to effects library and look for video collage you can find that in open effects. When you find it you can drag it and drop it and leave it over your background footage. Like I said it should be on the top of everything. The first thing that you're gonna see is your second clip, which is on video slot number 4. Select it and then select the transform, pull the corners until it fits one of the boxes and then just simply drag it and leave it over the desired box. Then highlight the next video which is on video slot number 3 and do the same. You just need to reposition it and resize it on the desired place. This is also very handy if you want to use it as a zoom calls to make some video about it or for some other montages. And of course if you need less or more slots than this one, just highlight your background, go to the effects and you can change the number of the columns of the rolls and pretty much everything about it. Just remember if you change the number of columns and rolls, you need to reposition your video footages again. I'm having two videos which are pretty much similar and I'm gonna use the drip effect as a transition. So I need to make this video as a fusion clip so I right click on everyone and create a new fusion clip. Then I'm highlighting the first one and I'm going to the fusion page. Then highlighting the media in, control space to open the tools and I'm typing drip. Then you can add it over your node tree. Highlight it and on shape you can select random. Then you can go on your last 20 frames of your clip. You can also do it on the last 10 seconds, it depends how fast you want this transition to happen. When you pick your frame, you can go to inspector and on amplitude you can reduce the values to zero and then create the diamond next to it to create a first keyframe. When you created your first keyframe, you need to place your time head onto the last frame, go to amplitude again and this time increase it to the end. And that's it for the first one, then highlight the second one, go to the fusion tab and add a drip again next to the media in. And when you do that you want to place your time head this time in the beginning of it but remember before that to select your shape on random. 
and when you go in the beginning of the clip this time you want to increase the values of amplitude until the end and then create your first keyframe next to it then move 10 or 20 frames forward and decrease the values of amplitude to zero To create this effect you just need to go to effects library, open effects and find the field damage, then take it and leave it over your video footage. And by default it's not a bad effect, just by itself, but if you want to improve it you can go to effects and increase the blur if you want. You can play around with the vignette, you can adjust the amount of dirt that you want to have, the size of it, also the seeds, the blurness of the dirt, the color and add the custom scratches. And if you made it this far, I think this video will like you as well. I'm showing a couple of effects there also. 